Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How do you pay tax on capital gains? The end capital gains tax applies when you profit from selling an asset. This can include stocks, bonds, real estate, and other investments. The gain is the difference between the purchase price and the sale price. Denon, you must report capital gains on your tax return. The tax rate depends on how long you held the asset. If you held it for more than a year, it is a long-term capital gain. Long-term capital gains usually have lower tax rates. If you held the asset for one year or less, it is a short-term capital gain. Short-term capital gains are taxed at ordinary income tax rates. These rates are higher than long-term capital gains rates. To calculate your capital gain, subtract the purchase price from the sale price. Include any costs associated with the sale, such as broker fees. The result is your capital gain. You can offset capital gains with capital losses. If your losses exceed your gains, you can use the excess loss to offset up to $3,000 of other income. Any remaining loss can be carried forward to future years. And certain assets are exempt from capital gains tax. For example, the sale of your primary residence may qualify for an exemption. Specific requirements must be met to qualify for this exemption. And keep records of your transactions. Accurate records help ensure you report your gains and losses correctly. The IRS requires you to keep these records for at least three years. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.